Hey guys, how's it going? This is Ilmar again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos on AR Foundation. We've been doing a lot of different examples with body tracking in iOS and ARKit. And in this example, what I want to do is I want to add particles to my hands and also particles to my head. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing, which is to add particle effects for the body tracking example that I have in GitHub. I want to show you what to do, but you can, you know, clone this example yourself because it's going to be available in GitHub to download. The one of the things that I did is I found an asset that is free. So I want to give them credit for the asset because I'm going to be using it. The company is called GAPH GAP. And I'm going to be using that in on, under the under the assets in this example. So I already imported the assets and I already have them in here. And I also have a prefab from one of the many examples that I have in here. So I want to show you a couple of things that we're going to do. So we're going to be adding particles to our head and also our hands. And at some point in a future video, we're going to be basically spawning these so that it looks like you're a superhero and you can spawn particle effects against the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this is a particle effect that I have. I'm also going to go into my skeleton here, my skeleton transparent. And we're going to be adding that because we're going to be checking changing it as well. So I'm going to unpack the prefab completely. This is going to be with particles. And then I'm just going to double click it. I also changed the transparency so that we could see what we were dealing with. So we're going to start with the head. So let's go ahead and find the head. So I'm just going to click on it and you can see the head is there. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add at the hand particle inside the basically the cube that I have for the head. That way, when we are changing the location of the head by using the position from the body tracker, then we can also change the position of the particle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to 0, 0, 0. And you can see that we're going to have a head that is on fire. And then I'm going to use the same, kind of like a similar approach for the hands. So I think that works fine. That looks good. And rotation, I don't know that we need to have any rotation whatsoever. So I'm going to keep this clean. Also, 1, 1, 1 on X, Y, and Z. Just cleaning, cleaning that up a little bit because I was playing around. And then the other thing that I'm going to do, let me try and see if I can do do it a little bit smaller because the head is, is just pretty large. Let me try 0.9 or maybe 0.7. There we go. I think that I think that looks a lot better. So I think that that looks good for or basically for our head. I had it as hand particle. And it's actually going to be head. So it's going to rename that. And then we're going to copy it because I'm going to reuse it. And we're going to change it a little bit. So let's go ahead and change it. And then I'm going to set it back on the side. We're going to need to do it a little bit smaller because it's going to be for our hands. We can do maybe like point, I think point two works. And yeah, I think something like that works. So I'm just going to, just going to play around with it and see what kind of effect we can get. So the emission is fine. My max particles, we can probably, maybe we can do something like half of it, which is about 50. So we can see, you know, it gives it, it gives it a better effect. Or we can do, let's try 35, 40. Okay, so I think 40 works. And we can look and see force over time. Let's enable it and see what we can get if we if we do something like that. Let's give it a little bit of, let's try zero. I think one works fine, point one works fine. How about on the, X axis. I think that looks cool. And then I'll do the same thing on, on Z. Let's just do also point 0.1. I just want to give it a little bit of you know changes. And then may maybe on the also on the rotation over speed over lifetime, we can also rotate it so and kind of see how that gives it a really cool look just by doing that. And then the last thing that I want to do is I want to change the color. So I'm going to look at the remember where that is to be honest that we okay yeah color over co color by speed 
we can do we can just probably just change this and maybe I think I already I think I already have color set over okay yeah I'm using color over lifetime and this came from the asset we can just tweak this one since this is the one that is getting used and we can just you know see what we can get out of this that is gonna give us a cool a cool look and maybe we'll make it like superpowers you know something like that and I'm actually gonna go back to the I don't like how the force looks I, I want to keep it steady in that place I think that looks way better if we do it that way okay so I think I'm happy with you know that that type of a look for now and then I'm gonna rename this one this is gonna be the hand particle we're gonna need two of them so we'll need to we'll just need to basically duplicate it and this is gonna be one 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 I was just playing around with it thinking that I could resize all right so that works now let me go ahead and select the, the right hand and then I'm just gonna put that one in there and then I'm also going to do the same thing with the other hand, with the left hand. And looks like I have that there. And we're going to put it inside. So now I'm just going to do 0, 0, 0. The rotation that I want this to start is going to be a 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. We'll do the same thing with this one. It just changed because I put it in inside of a parent. 0, 0, 0. And then 1, 1, 1. All right, so I think, I think that works. What, I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to exaggerate them a little bit more. I think they're they're just too small still. Okay, so I think I think something like that works. And then we have our hand or our head with in fire. I think that's going to look that's going to look really cool. All right. So the next thing that I want to do is I change the transparency on this component. I want it to be completely, you know, transparent so we don't see the actual skeleton. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this a prefab so that you guys can use it you can just say with particles i'm also going to be moving this inside of the asset store and that way everything everything that i'm using out of the asset store is in that folder it just keeps things really clean all right so i think i'm happy there i'm going to this is clean i'm gonna remove it and let me go ahead and actually undo that i want to make sure that the particles are going to be showing now that i move them okay so that looks good that one looks good and this one looks good all right let's go ahead and remove it again and then i'm going to duplicate this scene because i'm going to use i want you to be able to use this one so let me go into scenes and this one is human body tracking drawing i'm going to just duplicate it and then we can just say with particles all right double click on it and then the last thing that i need to do is let's go ahead and click on the AR session origin, make sure everything is set correctly. AR human body tracker, make sure that I have everything set correctly there as well. I do need to change the prefab that I have selected. This one is going to be the skeleton prefab. We're gonna do the one with particles. Okay, so I think that looks good. And then lastly, let's go ahead and point your camera to or your camera towards the human, move your hands around. Okay, so I think I think this is fine. We can just lastly just go ahead and change the title, which is going to be with particles. With particles, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to resize it so we can fit it all. Alright, and then lastly on the instructions, we can say particles should show on your hands and head. Okay, so that should be all for what we need to do in Unity. And then lastly, let's go into build settings. I'm gonna uncheck this, add the current scene, and then let's go ahead and move it up next to the human body examples. And I think everything else looks fine. Now what we need to do is just go ahead and build it. And I'm gonna put it in my desktop and I, I am going to replace the one that I have. So that looks good. And then I'll just wait until it's finished building and I'm going to show you as soon as it's done how it looks on my device. All right, guys, so this finished building and I'm actually pretty excited because the results are really, really cool. So let me show you two different versions. Demo one is going to be lighter. Demo two, it's going to be with dark light. And I want to show you how the particles look like. So here's demo one. You can see that the particles on my head are tracking really well. 
the the ones on my hand are not as accurate like they don't they're not attached as fast but it actually looks really cool and those are some things that i need to i need to play with you can see how the one on the head is just you know a steady staying in position and that probably has to do with you know the volume of the components that are in the head versus the one where i attach it in the head in the hands so that's that version let me show you the the next version is a little darker, but it still tracks the head and everything. You can see how the, the head is tracked really, really fast. I'm moving down, I'm moving up, and the particles are, are following me. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. And if you have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. They also have a great community, forums, and also great tutorials. Also find me in patreon.com where I'm posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code and the information that you need in order to find those repositories in GitHub. Thank you very much, guys.